Press the Select Manufacturer Feedback button and use the arrow keys to find the generic resolver selection. Press the Setup Motor Feedback button and enter your setup details using the arrow keys to navigate fields and change selections. This motor has four poles, the resolver is one speed, their directions are opposite, and the plus U minus V lockup angle is 30 degrees. Press the down arrow to access the excitation voltage selection. Adjust your excitation voltage until the vector level is between 2 to 3 volts. The vector level field will display low or high if out of range. Press the down arrow again to access the frequency selection. Try to get the phase error close to zero by adjusting the frequency up and down. You can change the frequency ranges by pressing numbers 1 through 4 on the keypad and fine tune the frequency by using the left and right arrow keys. After setup is complete, press the test button. Press debug and perform the standard two-step debug procedure. If correct, proceed to run the motor. If the vector level is not within the 2 to 3 volt range, the TI-3000JX will prevent you from running the motor. Press the stop button and enter the setup menu to adjust the excitation settings.